But um, Dr. Keener, an ex-atheist who's a Christian, has done some real good work on oral tradition and showed how ancient, uh, the ancients were very good at passing on information through oral tradition. They had bigger uh, trained memories to do that. So if you say, well, it, it took, uh, well, say the first gospel was written 40 years after Jesus' life, um, you know, things could have changed. But if you stood, studied first century oral tradition and how they passed on information, that kind of argument just doesn't stand to scrutiny. But whether you agree with the, the, the most important thing that you need to realize is that the Gospels can be traced back to the first century. Once we've done that, I don't think you have an argument as a skeptic. I don't think you have an argument to make about anything concerning whether that material is, is good material for, for historical investigation. If we can trace it back to early so as early source material, that's just brilliant as a historian you should get excited and uh, when you compare the historical source material for the life of Christ as compared say to Muhammad the earliest historical material that we start to get of Muhammad is 200 years after his life and you compare him to Jesus and we, ha we are in such a different world it's much more accurate much more closer to the situation Okay, these are just parenthesis things. They're they're not in my paper, all right. But I just I just putting that in. Uh, just if any atheist had some questions about that, uh, if you want to find out more information, Google Dr. Keener on his book of Acts, uh, or go to his website Keener uh, K double -E, e N E R X atheist uh, and. He's done a lot of videos on oral tradition, and uh, you can read some of his articles on his website. Uh, he's written the main authority on the Book of Acts. Um, so if you if you Google Keener Book of Acts, you'll be able to find where where he's, he is and and stuff like that. Anyhow, so what we've done there is we've traced back, we've traced the Gospels to as throughout history, and we've traced it right back, and it's early historical source material. Um, you can go to, uh, for studying Ignatius, you can go to www.earlychristianwritings.com Ignatius. The next important thing to note is that the Gospels are accurate historical documents. Not only are they early historical documents, they are accurate historical documents. The historical accuracy of John's Gospel in, Beth uh, in Bethsaida in John chapter 1 verse 44, the text tells us Andrew and Peter came from the city, were fishermen, the text tells us that Andrew